What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more JJK Season 2, Episode 13. I'm actually recording this intro after I've already watched the episode just because I missed one of the Discord Q&As. If you guys ever want to ask me a Q&A question, check out that Discord. There is a Q&A section. This question is from Evie Neeks. Thank you so much for the question. Like always, they ask, do you think Toji can wipe the floor now that that thing has been sealed? Or do you think Yuta will make a comeback? And there's a name mentioned alongside Yuta, which is Hakuri. Do you think he will make an appearance for the first time as well? Great question. Uh, to answer the first part, I do think if full-blown Toji is resurrected, I do think Toji can wipe the floor almost seamlessly with anyone. We're going to have to use some sort of shenanigans or teamwork or some sort of ulterior plays or it might not even be a cursed user. It could be like a Choso, Mahito, Getu fight versus Toji. I really have no idea. But in terms of Yuta making a comeback, I could absolutely see it with the amount. We still have like 10, 11 more episodes in the season. I would love it. I am not expecting it because I don't expect anything, but I would love it. The only thing I think I know, it's technically a spoiler, so I'm not going to say it, but I do think I know when Hakari comes in for the first time. Because if you guys don't know, Gojo stated in season one that the two sorcerers he thinks are eventually going to be as strong as him are Yuta and Hakari. And so I was super excited about Hakari, and a friend kind of told me in a non-spoilery way when we first see him. No spoilers, I know nothing about him at all, but I do think I know when we first see him is. I'm not going to say anything related to that, but I am very excited. Thank you so much for the question. Remember to check out that Discord if you guys have any questions you want to ask me. Remember to check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions of this episode as well as early access. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into today's episode. I don't know if it's extra just this episode, but it feels like, because this whole season has been extra, but there feels like they're going extra hard in the POV shots, the cinematography, certain aspects of animation in this episode. Shout out to your boy Roshi and Dwayne and Jazz. Uh, they were just over in Japan kicking it. Respect them immensely. Here's the fight we're talking about. Let's go. Like, look at that. Look at the lighting. Look at the shot. That was so unnecessary. Just for how Choso's coming into frame. Oh, see. Oh my god, the blood out of the. We can see the hemoglobin come. Like a water pressure, like a, uh, a pressure pressure gun, you know? <laughs> oh my god, thank the lord he was able to bounce it last second. I'm loving this. Oh my god. Piercing blood with the narrator. With the first person POV shot. That reminds me of Mob Psycho Season 2 so much. The amount of pressure. Oh my god. If Yuji didn't last second bounce that up, that's going straight through arms, straight through chest, straight through everything. Oh, look at the lighting in this. Oh my god. Bro, why are they going so hard this episode? He's pulling that blood into one concentrated source. Thank the Lord we knocked it out. Great dodge. I love how the blood is so easily retractable. It's in full control. Oh. Ooh, that was a clean dodge. That would have been splattered face. I like how Choso is really good with his range and his uh, convergence, but he's also really nasty at hand to hand combat. And then here we go again, round two. That's what I'm saying. He excels at distance. Oh, the moment he landed. Shrinks in his head. Great dodge. Oh my, oh my god. These shots! Okay, I like it. Great deductions. Blood grenades. With shrapnel. With a blood dagger. He kicked even with the dagger in his foot is still kicking. He only has a very limited amount he can do. Okay, this might have some science behind it. There's maybe a 10%. I 
I love the way they show that. Oh my god. Oh my god. From the first person shots to the lighting in this show episode. Makamaru's baiting him out? That's a smart bait. I won't lie. Nakamaru's badge, his token is done. But with that, Yuji pops up behind him. Great punch. Bro, the lighting is even more crazy with the water just bouncing off them. The details in this episode are exquisite. Can the blood themselves not take the water? Ah, okay. Yeah, coagulated dissolve way less easy. So turning the coagulation off would definitely make it dissolve easier. And without that convergence, the pressure pretty much weakens him all across the board. But he can still do it inside his own body and give him like super enhanced physical prowess, you know? Red scale attack stack. I love the narrator too. Amazing, by the way much more even fight now bro with the water this episode is animated incredibly yuji the close combat specialist choso the blood enhanced close combat newbie with the water with the music and fight hit the great adam oh my god this camera work i'm loving how yuji has the red light around him and choso has the blue but it switches Bro, this lighting is incredible. Oh my god. They're throwing hands! Okay, gotta go crazy. Fight dirty whenever you can. Headbutt. Amazing. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, his livers. Oh my. Through the cloth, too. Keeping it unwet and keeping it hidden. Even with a destroyed liver, he's still not going to give up. Whoa, what the hell? He's thinking of his role in the grand scheme of things. It's he's thinking of the bigger picture. I respect this. Okay, main character, non-main character? Who you feeling like? I respect this. He'll keep it flowing, you know. Really? Okay, so you guys know me. I try to break down what they say in, in layman's terms so I can, my dumbass can even understand it. So what they're saying is... She's saying, the amazing narrator, is blood manipulation sorcerers never coagulate or harden their blood just because of the fluidity and the control that gives them. It's just like a, no, no, do not coagulate it. That's why even with the sword, even with his blood blade, which you would expect is fully hardened blood, it's only the outline which is hardened inside. It's fucking high intensity moving blood to increase lethality. But he determined, whereas normally... Coagulation is a no-no. He determined Yuji's more of a threat right now, so he's going to do it anyway and super coagulate, even with the threat of thrombosis as like a side effect. Just to full is he like, are we going like fully hardening mode? Like, are we going, what, what are we doing? He thought Yuji was that great of a threat. I love how they're gauging each other's reaches, squaring up like officially with the lighting. Bro, I'm telling you, this is amazing. Ooh, they're gauging. Ooh. Ooh. With the music, come on. Bro, with the curse, like lightning coming off of him. This is literally tit for tat, bro. Oh my god, that was such a good stop. The water. Ooh, with the. Kicked him through three stalls. Oh my god, this animation is beautiful with the perfect box splits with the Wolverine X23 blades. 
with the music in the background? It's the same song that was playing when he was fighting the brothers, just a remix of it. It's not right or wrong. Oh my God, why? Why did they feel the need to go so crazy for this fight? Oh, he's hitting him with the own feint. They're doing the same thing from season one with the black flash. Please give me a black flash. He coagulated his ribs as well. So it, oh, or his, oh. Bro, I was geeking with how excited they did the callback to fucking. See, <sighs> what is going on? What on heaven's earth is going on? Memories flooded Choso's mind. Memories that didn't exist. We got some lovely looking spaghetti. Feels like I'm watching a four kids animation. The way they animated this. Especially with that old grainy VHS 4x3 look. Is this like when Toto had that false flashback of Yuji? Now Choso is having a false flashback of his brothers in Yuji? And you can see the rest of the womb paintings is whatever they're called as well right there. All six of them. All nine brothers are here. I'm so perplexed. What's going on right now? So he didn't end up punching, officially killing Yuji. Yuji is on the brink of death, I will say. But what the fuck was th what happened? Am I missing something? So it looks like we have an after credit scene. Which is Ghetto's girl. Ghetto's two girls. Are they going to run into Yuji? What does that mean? Let's get this started. What are we starting? If it's a spoiler or if they are going to explain it in future episodes, do not tell me what happened at the end there. But if it's not a spoiler and I was supposed to correctly interpret what happened, please let me know because I would love to get some... I would love to digest that with you guys and be able to actually process that and what's going on but overall i think this is one of the best fights jjk has ever had i still think in terms of an overall sequence i still like that one sequence of toto and yuji versus hanami better but <coughs> i apologize about that guys um excuse me but i think overall in terms of everything cinematography fighting everything this one is bar none this was insane I think even from the very beginning, giving us like a couple of minutes beforehand with Yuji noticing there's so much shit going on, being like, damn, I really can't stop this, but I have to go do this and I have to do this. And then Inumaki comes in and say, I love that. This is like a little cherry on top. Shout out Inumaki. But then him coming down here, seeing Choso's POV, no hesitation, going immediately into it, seeing a lot of Choso's powers, some of the limits of blood manipulation, how that is very strong but also has its weaknesses and is very realistically handled in terms of science in the jjk world which i would not expect at all you have to deal with coagulation thrombosis this that and the third and it's just like i think to me though the absolute like the animation choreography uh cinematography pov shots were all incredible to me and this sounds so weird but i think the best part about this fight and this episode was the lighting whether we're in that bathroom and it's the red and blue, whether we're outside the bathroom back in like the Shibuya terminal area and you can see like the ATM lights and every bro, the lighting in this was immaculate. I'm just trying to understand from a animation POV how that works because I don't understand lighting and reflective and reactive lighting and animation at all, but they do it so well, so well. It's not even funny. Overall, absolutely incredible episode, S tier episode probably the best fight in all of jjk so far hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on that channel i appreciate y'all immensely have a great day peace out